on you know, slingshot too. So there's a little bit more riding on this than just a bracket position. This is whose crew is better and whose rushdown is better too. So the, the, the implications of this are pretty, pretty broad uh, as they're going to go to FD for the first stage pick. Now, my initial gut reaction was, oh god, Diddy on FD. But then I looked across the aisle, and it's like, oh god, Greninja on FD. <laughs> so, not really bad for either player, it's just a matter of, like, how, how both of them manage it. Does, uh, does Jay Grunt always have the space to commit to those classic, like, Greninja dash back, dash in, dash attacks, or... Uh, will they get uh, will they get kind of floored on the ground and forced to take to the air more uh, more consistently against Diddy's uh, pretty st stellar ground pressure thanks to uh, monkey flip always being an option grounded moves like down tilt uh, and banana. just just banana like in general across the board <laughs> yeah um dude I, I i happen to agree with you there but uh you know what's really terrifying greninja with banana uh, cause they can get their, their down tilt combos for basically free, um, if they get the trip off, but entering, uh, that water shuriken with a banana toss, good stuff from Slingshot, recognizing that the opportunity was there and the pressure, uh, as well. Ooh, a good F smash to, yeah. So these guys are going to be playing, uh, monkey in the middle and uh, who's in the middle. Well, probably that banana. I had to guess. Oh, just the roll on. I was kind of anticipating the monkey flip and it was being a little bit more aggressive with the uh, the lack of shield coming out from Jay's run but no slingshot looks like he's determined to play this tit for tat going for a hard call on the jump Jay Grunt's patience earns him a get of attack but not much more allowing him to reset neutral grid parry on the back air trying trying to stay uh trying to stay safe with some of his punishes but that did he's still alive and almost is Almost had banana under control. Alas, it does not seem to be the case. Jagron gonna close out this edge guard. No, slingshot yet again finds his way back on. Up throw. Yeah, yeah, that is gonna kill. I want to say I love some of these creative options off stage that we're seeing um, out of Jagron. Um, I mean, you know, using the using the hydro pump uh, to, or excuse me, the aqua jet to figure out, uh, you know, a, a way to prevent Monkey Flip from going its full distance and then trying to go for a back air. It didn't work last stock, but I think once Jay Grunt gets more used to it and ready for it, uh, it's going to be very, very important. And um, there's just a lot of that creative type stuff uh, littered throughout this match. You know, Jay, Jay Grunt's painting a picture right now, um, and so is Slingshot. And these guys are just going to be uh, pulling tricks out of each other's bags uh, and trying to see what will work and what won't. I... The positioning on Jagrun on ledge has been extremely good. Not only has this patience as Slingshot just kind of throws out Moose waiting for him to, to fall into him, but he's been with he had always been getting clipped by things that sent him back across stage, which allowed him to prolong the life of that stock. And while he didn't get much damage, he survived for so much longer and was able to turn it up. As we see right here, yeah, catching landings, catching landings. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Aww. Nice Nair combo from uh, Slingshot going into 21%. It's a start, you know, everyone has to start somewhere. And that banana leading into a little bit more. Slingshot has him in the corner now. Putting out the pressure with the uh, Z-drop Nairs. Um, Jake aren't gonna answer with a falling back air though. All right, what's Slingshot gonna do to cover center? Yep, just run right under it. Yep, you're doing good. Yeah, but both these guys are just, you know, playing really solidly around each other's uh, options. You know, they're just throwing out hitboxes, they're avoiding it. Um, you know, getting each other's combos uh, figured out. It's it's really cool to see in, in live time. This is a great matchup. Yeah, this is the quintessential reason you go to FD. There's no no added setups, no added platform uh, shenanigans to cause early kills or potentially uh, any any other uh, tech chases. This is just neutral. And both of them are playing it super well, especially when this banana gets thrown into the mix because Slingshot's only been in control of her about half the time. But Jagrun's punish game with the with the poor peel has been just as off, uh, just as prolific, and more importantly, just as dangerous. Yeah, I know. Like, these guys are really putting on a good show for you guys today.
Yeah, this is something I wouldn't mind seeing in uh, Winners Finals, but I'm, like, we have to have it this early. Which is just kind of a foretaste of uh, what is to come tonight. Yeah, yeah this pressure. Okay. Yep, dash it back and forth, covering space. Yep, there it is. Really good option there from uh, from Slingshot. Trying to bait out a, an aggressive approach from Jake Run, and it, it definitely worked out in Slingshot's favor. Excellent stuff there. Yes, I like how he's starting to evolve some of his ledge traps because uh, he had been prior uh, doing a lot of things with uh, doing a lot of things by, by tossing banana at uh, at neutral getup and letting letting that play out. Ooh. But yeah, wow. down tilt, down tilt, down tilt, down tilt. Man, that match was um, five minutes and thirty seconds, and I was entertained the whole time. I believe this was down to as a starter. It's so. Um, Slingshot had been playing the latter half of this match so well. Was that really yeah, just. That. Oh, no, okay. Oh, that's down. so. That's such a sick combo. Caught around the air with Water Shuriken. Forced a, forced a landing there. Was able to catch it with the down tilt into the combo. Great stuff. Look at this. Come that's on. Fine. Excellent capitalization from J Grunt. I mean, this is why Greninja goes to FD. Absolutely. You don't want you don't want to see Greninja just running back and forth and catching, uh, ready to catch your landings, ready to stuff you out uh, in mid air with their pretty uh, pretty solid aerials. Yeah, so imagine a character. Like he was catch up, yeah. I was going to say, imagine a character with um, a forward air that covers that much space and uh, a, a drag down up air that is as good as Greninja's, not being as good on platforms as they are on FD. It's insane. I mean, it's I. I guess it's just the nature of their up air, and not so much the the fact that it drag downs, but how it does it. Oh, like the... look at that ledge trap! Beautiful. All right, we go to Kalos, uh, walled stages. A plus for me, you get bonus points from from, from Ubo over here because I love me some walls. I also but... love churches. Shout out to churches. <laughs> Shout out to churches. If you're religious, you got a nice church. Epic. Okay. T tweet okay. your church at me. Uh, no, no, no. I'm stuffing this one in the bud right now. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> but there's a lot of space that uh, Diddy can use. These extra platforms mean a monkey flip becomes that much better of an escape option. Uh, can you go to one platform, flip all the way to the other side. And oh, extra man. recovery routes are always good. Though, man, it just really shows how similar both these characters can be. A little bit of a different thought process in both, both of their designs. Diddy a little bit more uh, defensive in uh, in their style, uh, focusing a lot more on just prolonging and getting more neutral interactions, while Greninja, uh, while still executing similar combos and has similar attributes, is a lot more high, str uh, high tempo. And I think that's kind of where we're seeing the difference. A lot of neutral going on, but Jay Grunt always comes out with the higher damage. Dog, I know you wanted that banana, but uh, have a sword instead. So, gonna be no, dropping down the shield, trying to calm out of neutral. Ooh, uh, oh, the dash attack didn't work. Unfortunate. Um, I definitely like the attempt there from. Oh! What a punish! He, uh, he read the flip and dip dip coming in, and it hit him with a shadow sneak with a reverse hitbox so that he got sent towards the uh, closer blast zone. Beautiful, beautiful conversion there from Mr. Jay Grunt. And now uh, we see Diddy in his kind of worst state, like mine it without his banana and without a uh, lead. So Slingshot's really going to need to dig deep and figure out how does he get past the wall of shurikens and the Z-Drop Aerial is fair, it's just been doing such a good job of keeping Slingshot out. And it looks like Jake Grunt had his, <laughs> he was in no mood of changing up that game plan. Looked wow. a little bit greedy on that punish, but he's sitting so comfortable right now that it doesn't feel like it'll bite him in the butt anytime soon. Yeah, I, I just Jake Grunt kind of had that banana and jumped around uh, and, and mixed up options for like a solid 30 seconds at the very least. And Slingshot didn't have a, a free approach because, you know, if you commit to Monkey Flip, you're going to get punished because of having no space. I'm not going to kill that F Smash. Kazo's biting him in the butt a little bit. Oof. Yeah, big stage. Tough man. <laughs> Sitting in shield. And, uh, right. Diddy's yeah, ridiculous up smash comes through in the clutch, but 
the discipline from Jay Grunt just to take all of that punishment, that down tilt, the banana toss, and both hits of S Man. I oh. feel like it is. This looks like a confident Jay Grunt, and with that snatch of the banana, he looks like he's gonna keep playing this, uh, this, uh, his game, and not try to give in to slingshot to. Uh, oh, that. As I say Ooh. that, though, I was gonna say slingshot creeping up on him, uh, silently taking the lead too. Yeah, some extra tricks and some extra business from slingshot. Is the power of Diddy with the Ooh. banana in his hand. Yeah, Kyle is not gonna kill. That wasn't gonna kill on most stages, let alone. One as big as uh, the Kalosian Pokemon League. Yeah, definitely can see the counter pick here coming, uh, paying dividends for Slingshot right now. Oh, but meeting a back air with another back air, but another back air to meet that same back air. Oh, and he's. Oh, look at him! He's doing it! <laughs> he's waiting. <laughs> the wall. the world to change. <laughs> Man, that was such a ballsy play, too. I definitely. I respect it, though. Good. Let's play gets more and more dynamic when the four options, the four standard options, just aren't good enough. So Absolutely. especially on a stage like this, and with a jump plate like Greninja's, you've got room to play with. That shield is getting a, a lot less room to play with. Yeah, but Jake Runt has banana, had banana. Uh, so I was gonna say approach. Oh, he has it again. <laughs> he had, he had, he has banana. <laughs> it's such a trade. Like they just. They're playing catch, they're playing volleyball, just tossing it back and forth. I'm like, what's... Who can utilize it more? Who can utilize it better? It's it's almost tough to follow. It makes you wonder if uh -oh. it's almost better for Slingshot not to pull it out. But... Shouts to the, uh, the the weight on that on that uppy, uh, making it back really slowly so that they were able to stall out the entire down smash and not get hit you by knew. it. He did. Oh, he he, 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 know, he had known, but this game keeps going. Not missing it's a beat is slingshot, bro. I know why he uses the pink skin. He, he's he's like the Energizer Bunny, man. It just keeps going and going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it Almost comes through, but not enough. That should do it. Yeah. Yes, that's sir. A stock. Slingshot finally taking back the lead. But for how long is the question? As yeah, well, Jake not very. That's it was a quick level of conditioning, but it's all you need at 154. Just Dash up, down tilt, down tilt, make your opponent want to jump, then meet him in the air with that massively disjointed fair. We're on final stock and potentially yeah. final of the uh, the winner side stock for Slingshot if he doesn't keep uh, keep the momentum from stock two going, or if Jay Grant can find himself in the same form as stock one with the banana in hand. Yeah, and on top Back. of that, you know, Jay Grunt has the lead right now, and that clock is starting to slowly wind its way back down to zero. And Jay Grunt is just doing a good job. Talk about Diddy playing a lot of defensive game. Uh, Greninja's definitely doing work on, on that front as well. Um, keep playing keep away with that banana, and also just, you know, poking with any option, any opening that Slingshot gives him. Yeah, see, look at that. Using the uh, Water Shuriken to get a little uh, of extra chip damage. Holding that banana, waiting for uh, an overextension, hitting a Nair. Oh, going for the down tilt up smash. Not going to kill just yet, though. And at this point, Slingshot needs something dramatic in order to come back into this one. I don't want to be that guy, but take a look at the clock. Yeah, absolutely. 20, and, and... Uh, 20 seconds um, or 22 seconds and counting. Yeah, Slingshot's really going to need something big here. And without a banana to play off of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is, for the timeout. This is the this is the gameplay. Yeah, you can you're just as fast as he is, and he doesn't have his uh, his extra win condition. Yeah, you can't do 50 without this item. And I feel oh okay. Oh, <laughs> too little, too late. And uh, slingshot is gonna drop out of winners bracket after a very long drawn out set from both of these players, but. Pulling out on top is Grunt Gang's Jay Grunt. Yeah, oof, that was, there was a lot of spite behind that down air, it felt like, but... Hey, if they had a little bit of extra time, uh, that down air could have been converted into a back air and possibly won the entire game, but the that is that is the limitation of having a clock, you know? It is the arbiter to, to determine these players have to fight, or in some cases, uh, stalling is a viable strategy, and Jay Grunt proven that point pretty well. So, 
Congratulations, Jay Grunt, moving on to the next round of competition. Slingshot definitely cannot be disappointed there, though. That was an insanely good set, a uh, fun one to watch, and hopefully a fun one to play for both of these guys. Uh, that set definitely went the distance, despite it being a 2-0. Yeah, it's just an extremely long, uh, long and hard fought game too. But once Jay Grunt, it seemed like saw that there was 45 seconds left on the clock and they had banana in hand. It's like, I don't need to do anything about this situation. I just need to wait for the inevitable. And it certainly came. Those clocks hit, that clock hit zero, much unlike our bar down.